it's another nippy morning, but nowhere near as cold as as yesterday. I just woke up, very dull at the shop, and um, we're going to hike hopefully the 13 miles out of Knapsack Call today. And the views are spectacular from outside the tent. It's absolutely incredible. So I got up there for a pee there this morning. So I'm going to try and watch the sunrise, even though the sunrise is going to be behind the mountains. I should get some colours, so that makes for a very interesting day. The mountain ranges look incredible up there, so it's going to be tough. Uh, it certainly won't be easy, but, uh, but the views are going to be very, very, very rewarding, which is good. I'm looking forward to it. I really don't want to leave this place. This is another area that has gone on the must return to list. I'll definitely be coming back here and taking my time, that's for sure. You can see where we're going. We're going up into them jagged peaks just up ahead. And I believe there's still a few old glaciers up there as well, according to the maps. I can see some of them. It'll be interesting to see how big they are. Because the, the glaciers that we have been seeing, there's not much left of them. But it's absolutely stunning, it really is. I'm so glad, I'm so happy and honoured to actually bring this to you because there's not a hell of a lot of people out here. If I lived close to this place, I'd be out here most weekends. Just get up here, get into the mountains, get off the trail and get lost. Absolutely fantastic. The only thing that I'm frustrated about is there's not a hell of a lot of animals. I don't know why, maybe. Well, I'm not even going to try and give you an excuse or an example, but... I don't know why there's not a not a hell of a lot of animals around. I was hoping to see some elk and and maybe a bear at a distance, or even a mountain lion at a distance. I dare say there's been plenty of mountain lions spotting us, but it's very difficult to spot them. But I'm going to keep going here because my fingers are froze. I'm almost at the top. Well, actually, that's a lie. I'm actually almost at the, the steep section that takes me up to the pass, which is called uh, Knapsack Call. Even though the whole place is, I think it's called Knapsack Call. Well, the alternate's called Knapsack Call. But what a beautiful morning. These lakes, the mountain ranges, and uh, all these glaciers, or what's left of them. I can't wait to get up to the top. There's no trail. It's literally boulder hopping. And I don't have a clue how we're supposed to get up to the pass. There doesn't seem to be any trail. But the good thing about it, there's three people coming down. So I'll keep a close eye on them and see which way they go. Because it looks pretty steep. It looks like just like a, a vertical wall with a lot of screed, which could be interesting. Well, that's us at the top and that was hairy I'll tell you that one slip and it was lights out especially near the end so it wasn't too bad myself and Montana had each other for company but but Freewheel had to go through it on his own <laughs> so it was um, it was literally just straight down straight down you wouldn't uh, you wouldn't have been coming back from that one if you'd have slipped so I'm going to sit up here now and have a munch, have some summer sausage, have some cheese, 
I have some crackers. I'm gonna go eat a Snickers. And I'm already eating the Werther's original. Almost back on the CDT now, and that was one of the best, best alternates, the best hikes that I have, I have ever done. Like look, look at the mountain ranges. <laughs> I just came down through that. Absolutely incredible. I've been speechless for the last hour. Absolutely speechless. Incredible. <laughs> I don't even know what they say. You can see you can see the footage for yourself. What a spectacular couple of days. So we're about a half a mile from the CDT now and then it's it's all downhill for a little while. But nah. Thank you very much, Circuit of Towers. And thank you very much, Knapsack Call. I will be back. We're back in the forest again now and we're dropping down to about 8,000 feet I think so it should be a little bit a little bit warmer tonight and we should be able to get a fire going we didn't get a fire going last night because it was a regeneration area so we had to camp back from that and there was a few people around as well so and uh, also there was no fire rings so we will get one going tonight for sure. But I just can't get over today. I can't. Uh, like even where we had lunch, uh, at the bottom of that valley, at the bottom of Napsai Call, was absolutely incredible. We all got in for a swim. The water was ice cold. It was water coming off the glacier. And uh, just where we were sitting was just absolutely spectacular. We all ended up passing out actually. We were that tired because Knapsack Call was at 12,200 or 12,300 feet, I think. Uh, so, but I'll be, I'll be talking about these, these last couple of days for a very long time to come. But I'm just, uh, I'm gobsmacked, absolutely gobsmacked what I was walking through for the last four or five days. And even now, even now we've come back down into a completely different mountain range. So, but I think we're gonna be in the trees for the next couple of days. Uh, but look, let's let's see what happens. But as I said, I'm <laughs> I just can't get over it. I cannot get over it.